My brothers and sisters, may the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said, what is the kingdom of God like? To what can I compare it? It is like a mustard seed that a man took and planted in the garden. When it was fully grown, it became a large bush and the birds of the sky dwelt in its branches. Again, he said, to what shall I compare the kingdom of God? It is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of wheat flour until the whole batch of dough was leavened. The Gospel of the Lord. We just heard a very familiar text from St. Paul's letter to the church at Ephesus. Uh, It's oftentimes used in wedding ceremonies and one of the prefaces for weddings specifically talks about this comparison of Christ and the church and its relationship and the relationship of a man and a woman. And as we listen to it, of course, we have to kind of sort out the parts that are the most important that are said there. We hear the word subordinate at the beginning, and that's a word we're very uncomfortable with, I think, in our society, of the idea of being subordinate to another person. And yet when Paul uses it, he makes it clear that it's not just one, to, one over another, but both should be subordinate to one another, that it's still kind of on an equal plane. And he takes it even a step further by going on and getting to give an explanation that just as Christ has a relationship with the church, that's a very intimate one and a very important one, a salvific one, so the relationship that exists between a man and a woman essentially is the same thing, that each of them are a fulfillment of the other, that each of them make the whole, that because of that, as is suggested, the two become one flesh, that text from Genesis that he alludes to. He also speaks in terms which at the time probably would have been seen as rather revolutionary because in a society and in a culture where women really were seen as second-class citizens, they were always seen to be in a sense a possession, if you will, or a property of their husband. And a lot of the laws, both within the Mosaic Code and within Roman law, sort of looked at the relationship that way. But Paul all of a sudden is talking about a whole different relationship that a man should have and cherish and nourish his wife, that he should recognize in her that uh, she is with holy and without blemish, and that she is, in fact, one who gives him his own sense of relationship and meaning. It's probably because of those images that the gospel today from Luke, which is a very brief passage, is telling us how these things happen in little ways. Jesus asks the question, what is the kingdom of God like? And he gives two little images that, again, are sort of unusual. A mustard seed, which is very, very tiny, and yet it tends to grow into a bush that's usable. Not only does it give off some produce, but it also becomes a home, we're told, by the birds. And he talks about yeast, again, something which is very minimal, and yet that yeast ends up making the the dough multiply and grow. And sort of the same thing with regard to the kingdom of God and specifically the church that even though we do not uh, fill the whole earth, we'd like a mustard seed or like that yeast, create an atmosphere and an environment within which people can become much more than what they thought they ever could be. That is why, for example, all these images about relationships between us and God and relationships between men and women are, are ways of new ways of thinking and acting and making ourselves in, in the person in the image of Jesus Christ. It surely is a sign of that new creation that he often talks about. Let's then this morning pray in a special way for the church as a, that kind of small catalyst in the midst of a bigger community. Let's pray as well for that relationship that exists between a husband and a wife, that it be nurtured and, and strengthened by the grace that is received from the Lord, and that in turn by the support and the protection of the church, it might flourish.